Well, good morning, legends. As you can see, we're out on the water for the first time in this boat since November. And uh, what are we in now? We're in March, so it's been a bloody long time. Um, it's an epic morning. We've got one day to make this happen because it is blowing up 30 plus knots as of tomorrow, rain, it's all gonna happen. Um, I've held off making another video, you probably missed the last upload because uh, as you would have heard from the previous little upload, I had mad issues with the microphone on this camera. So I've got a new mic now, uh, I've tested it, everything should be running sweet. So hopefully you're watching this and it has a heap better audio and uh oh, eat my hair there and yeah so today is a bit of a test run on the big girl i'm not going to do a full run over of the boat or anything i'm just making sure it floats making sure everything i've done is working and it's not going to bugger up and uh we have an absolutely magic day today so today we got rods on board got the spear gear uh we got a whole heap of lures and plastics so we're just gonna go and just wing it. We got no plan. Um, the wind's meant to stay down most of the day, so I'm gonna head a bit wider. Just muck around, have a play with the sounder, and just have a fat day on the water, really. So, as you can see, it's starting to get a bit cold here. So, um, a bit brisk, and uh, yeah, still looking forward to jumping in the water. Um, last season was a bit of a dud for me and i'm so so keen to get back in there and uh see what it's uh what it's like under the surface so currently got bait jumping all around me but i'm heading out wide so we'll uh head on out there and i'll check in with you guys once we finally stop and have a bit of a fish eh? so see you soon okay well we found our school of tuna because it's so calm they are super flighty so the moment you creep up on them they bugger off but these ones look quite large so they might be blues fingers crossed uh, so i'm just gonna idle along and see where they pop up they keep kind of sporadically popping up a few birds here and there nothing too crazy going on but if we can get a shot at them we will bloody take it so we'll get the stick bait rod ready see if we can get a shot at these things Oh, I just did one of those random casts I was talking about just before in the middle of nowhere Nothing's even feeding and I've hooked up oh, Not a bad fish I've got to get this guy up pretty quick because There's three sharks on my sounder that keep following this boat around and they are big and I mean big, so. Oh. Let's see if we can't get this fella up. And into the boat before they steal him. Oh, he absolutely railed that. Took a pretty good run too, so. I don't know. Might be a Mac, might be a Blue. Oop. I'll change your direction there and a head shake. Hopefully the sharky's not behind him. Here he comes up to the top. He's not a bad fish. Come up here, buddy. Machina. Oh, nice. Whoa! Chunky little fella. Any sharks on the sounder. Oh, okay. Beautiful. What an epic little fish. That's sick. <laughs> That is cool. So uh, yeah, we might keep this guy for a bit of shark bait later on. Uh, bring towel out here and see if we can get stuck into some of these big boys because there's plenty of them about. So uh, I don't go on the esky and keep, keep trying to find a blue. Okay, well, we've got our tuna. Um, everything's kind of gone down. The wind's back right off now. I think turn of tide's happening or something along those lines or coming up to high. 
So uh, we're going to skate to a different spot, try something a little bit different, um, pepper the bottom, see if we can throw a fish in the esky for dinner. If not, we'll uh, waddle up the island and jump in the water, see if we can shoot something. So yeah, fingers crossed, it's uh, a bit better under the water than on top. Okay, there's a bit of life down there, a bit of a lump there. So yeah. Blood all over me, that bloody tuna went psycho just when I went to put it in the esky, but um, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff here, so I'm going to give it half hour, pepper it, see what happens, and then um, hopefully these clouds bugger off, sun comes out, and we'll jump in the water, so yeah, throw some lures down on this, see what happens. Well, I don't know if you can see that, that's a perfect shark. That's another really big shark. We scroll back. One, two, three sharks. Four sharks. I don't know whether they're tearing into something there. There is no way in hell I will get a fish past any of them. So that spot's cooked. And as you can see, so many freaking sharks here for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, there's another one. Look at the size of this one. This is a proper shark, this one. Look at that. That thing is huge. That's like... And he's just gliding up to the boat too. So, uh... Yeah. Unfortunately... Not good news for fishing in this spot, anyway. So, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go have a look somewhere else, I guess. See what happens. Can I only try, try and get away from these buggers anyway. Oh guys, I've just stumbled across. There's a proper bait ball here full of fish and there are sharks just gnawing through it hey their fins tails everything's out of order i'm gonna quickly try and get the drone up over top of them see if i can show you this oh it is epic the sharks are like legit coming up like whales and just chomping like this oh i'll hurry up and see if i can get this happening okay guys drone's having a hissy fit as it always freaking does so i opened it this morning and it said all good and now it wants to update as soon as you get out here hate these things so gonna get a good camera out get a bit closer and see if I can get some footage on this because this is just insane. The sounds alone are freaking crazy. So I'll get in and uh, hopefully show you. Absolutely crazy, guys. These sharks, they're not moving quickly, but they're, uh, oh, they are absolutely destroying this little bait ball. These sharks are pretty much running into each other. Oh. oh! I don't know if I should be standing up here, but... <laughs> Check this out. fish in here too. Oh guys, this is insane. Oh! <laughs> this is freaking crazy. They just do not care about this boat. And these bait fish are tiny. They're like, whoa! Jesus, there's tuna and mackerel and everything going on here. Oh, some of these sharks are quite large. Oh, I don't know where to look. This is insane. Oh, 
this is just too cool. Oh, look at the sounder. Look at the sounder. Oh, no way. This is legit, like Discovery Channel stuff. Oh. Oh. The way they're coming up with their mouths and biting into it and just so gently and slow and then all of a sudden they'll all go psycho on it. Oh, I really want to get this drone over there. There's probably like 12, 15 sharks there. So I'll try, have another crack at the drone. If I can't do that, I'll get this camera back on them. Oh, look at this. This is a school of tuna. They're coming in hot. You ready? Oh, this is about to go down. Oh, there's a school of tuna that just came in. They might have seen all the sharks and realised they're not going to get much action. But Okay, I'll put this down and get into it. Oh my god, <laughs> I've got the drone up, I've got it up, it updated, and that footage is freaking epic. I've got about two minutes worth and I could literally sit there and watch that all day. That is so awesome, so awesome just to see everything going on from a bird's eye view. Oh, it's insane.
absolutely insane. That's made my whole day. I'm happy I can go home now. <laughs> but in saying that, we're going to step things up a level. I'm going to throw a lure in there. You would have seen how many fish are in there. I want to see whether the sharks are so fired up that they will just annihilate anything I hook or whether they're so zoned in on the bait feeding that they might even leave it alone. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, this is going to get pretty wild. Okay, legends, there's the ball. I'd say she'd be significantly smaller than it was when we were <laughs> around it. I'm not going to cast into it, I'm going to cast around the edge because as you would have seen from the drone footage, there's a heap of fish hanging around the edge. So I'm going to cast out here a bit and see if I can hook something. A and B. See if the sharks will leave it alone because they're in so much of a frenzy. So we'll give this a bit of a nudge. See what happens. Oh! Oh, they're behind it. Oh, it's had a fish hit and follow. Oh, yep, I'm on. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh, he's running. He's still a fish at the moment. <laughs> What's going to happen here? Oh. You know what? I think the sharks are actually so fixated on what's happening over there. I might actually get this fish in. <laughs> that, oh, it's kind of the opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Oh, no, nah. no, nah, shark got him. Ah, oh, to be honest, that lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. A lot longer. <laughs> oh, okay, well, it's tested that theory and I'm not going to waste any more uh, tackle on them. But what we might do is we might go back up again for another bit of a look at these because this is too cool just to leave alone. So we'll go in for another gander while they're in feeding mode. So it's nearly lunchtime. Um, it's nearly high tide and the sun's coming out. So I'm going to sneak over to a spot I wanted to have a look at on high tide for a dive. Um, a little ways from here, which is good. Hopefully all the sharks stay here and not over there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what the viz is like. And if it's any good, we'll jump in the water. So yeah, we go. Okay. Let's do this. See if we can find something. Guys, as you might be able to hear, it's starting to get windy out here. There's a bit of a storm rolling out the back there. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits. Can't find anything really worth shooting. I did grab one quick feed. These things are 
the bomb when it comes to eating fish and uh, highly venomous, not poisonous, venomous, but super tasty. So uh, I'm nabbed one of these. It's a uh, line fish. So I got some pretty crazy old spikes on top, which will cause you a fair bit of grief. Not recommended that you tangle with one, but uh, if you do, put it in the esky because they are super duper delicious. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to roll home, probably cook that one up, and uh, who knows, I might grab something else on the way home yet, we'll see. But uh, as for today, that was a bloody epic day. That was uh, definitely not what I expected, put it that way. We went from catching nothing in the morning to having that epic shark encounter the drone footage jumping in the water uh oh. turtles sharks big mackerel bait fish lionfish craze had the works today so definitely can't complain life is amazing so uh hope you enjoyed this one guys and remember if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel hit the like button and um, we have actually started a Patreon, Patreon, I'm not too sure how you say it, but yeah, anyway, uh, we've started one of those, links down in the description, um, feel free to help us out, uh, it's uh, yeah, pretty full on keeping these things going, I'm spending a lot of money to try and upgrade cameras and stuff to try and keep the footage as top quality as I can for you guys to keep you interested and keep you coming back, so uh, if you want to support us and the channel, and uh, lend a hand, jump over to Patreon, links in the description. Uh, it costs you a cup of coffee a month, bugger all really, and you get some pretty cool benefits. So uh, if you're that way inclined, help us out. Much appreciated, Legends, and uh, see you on the next one.